Hello friends, welcome back to the video series in Oracle PL SQL Programming. In the first video, already we have discussed what is the meaning of DBMS, that means the Database Management System. In this video, we will discuss on the SQL, the Structured Query Language. So, what is SQL? The structured query language SQL, as we all know, is the database language by the use of which we can perform certain operations on the existing database. And also, we can use this language to create a database. SQL uses certain commands like create, drop, insert, etc. to carry out the required task. These SQL commands are mainly categorized into four categories as DDL, the data definition language, DQL, data query language, DML, data manipulation language, DCL, the data control language. Though many resources claim there to be another category of SQL clauses, TCL, the transaction control language. So, what is DDL? Data definition language. DDL or data definition language actually consists of the SQL commands that can be used to define the database schema. It simply deals with descriptions of the database schema and is used to create and modify the structure of the database objects in the database. DDL is a set of SQL commands used to create, modify, and delete database structures, but not data. These commands are normally not used by a general user who should be accessing the database via an application. List of DDL commands. Create. This command is used to create the database or its objects like table, index, function, views, store procedure, and triggers. Drop. This command is used to delete objects from the database. Alter. This is used to alter the structure of the database. Truncate. This is used to remove all records from a table, including all spaces allocated for the records are removed. Comment. This is used to add comments to the data dictionary. And rename. This is used to rename an object existing in the database. So, what is DQL or data query language? The DQL statements are used for performing queries on the data within schema objects. The purpose of the DQL command is to get some schema relation based on the query passed to it. We can define DQL as follows. It is a component of SQL statement that allows getting data from the database and imposing order upon it. It includes the select statement. This command allows getting the data out of the database to perform operations with it. When a select is fired against a table or tables, the result is compiled into a further temporary table which is displayed or perhaps received by the program. That is a front end. So, list of DQL commands. Only one select. It is used to retrieve data from the database. So, what is DML? Data manipulation language. The SQL commands that deals with the manipulation of the data present in the database belong to DML or data manipulation language. And this includes most of the SQL statements. It is the component of the SQL statement that controls access to data and to the database. Basically, DCL statements are grouped with DML statements. So, list of DML commands. Insert. It is used to insert data into a table. Update. It is used to update existing data within a table. Delete. It is used to delete records from a database table. Lock. Table control concurrency. Call. Call a 
PL or SQL or Java sub program. Explain plan. It describes the access path to data. So, next one is DCL or data control language. DCL includes commands such as grant and revoke, which mainly deal with the rights, permissions, and other controls of the database system. So, list of DCL commands grant. This command gives users access privilege to the database and revoke. This command withdraws the user's access privileges given by using grant command. TCL, the transaction control language. Though many resources claim there to be another category of SQL clauses, that one is the TCL, transaction control language. So, we will see in detail about TCL as well. TCL commands deal with the transaction within the database. So, list of TCL commands. The commit. Commits are transaction. Rollback. Rollbacks are transaction in case of any error occurs. Save point. Sets are save point within a transaction. And set transaction. Specify characteristics for the transactions. From the next video, we should proceed with the SQL commands, how to install the Oracle and how we can use the SQL.